Oh, hello there, awesome viewer. I'm Ryan Matlock, the entrepreneur. Welcome to this show I like to call Fantastic Fridays. This is the show where I tell you about the most bizarre holidays that you've ever heard of. Let's do it. Today is March 4th, and our first holiday is Grammar Day. You say grammar is more important than a lot of people realize. For years, it's been possible to write sentences that follow the rules of a specific language and make it so that it's easy to understand the specific idea that someone wants to represent. And yet somehow, people still manage to mess up this very simple system that we have laid out. Now, granted there are a lot of rules to it, but you'd think after having the opportunity to practice through text messaging, Facebook posting, and Twitter tweeting, people would have figured it out by now. It's like so easy your great grandma could have done it. This is so annoying it's gonna cause an aneurysm. Grammar is really important and if you don't use it in your day-to-day -day activities in a proper and well-executed fashion, then you are what is wrong with the world. I am a grammar Nazi. I will find you and I will correct you. I am a grammar Nazi. I will find you and I will correct you. I am a grammar Nazi. I will find you and I will correct you. I am a grammar Nazi. I will find you and I will correct you. But don't worry, it's not like it's a huge deal or anything. I have a poll running on this specific issue on Twitter right now and people totally like being corrected on their grammar. I think it's time I unplug for a while. Good thing today's National Day of Unplugging. National Day of Unplugging is a day to turn off the computer, put down the phone, go out, and enjoy the finer things in life. But wait a minute, if I'm not on the internet, how will I be able to find out what the finer things in life are? What will I do with my life? I know, I'll eat food. Sorry, first thing that came to my mind. I guess that's a good thing though, because today's also snack day. What snack will I be eating, you ask? Why, this entire jar of runs. Yes, I did organize these by myself. <laughs> and that's how I went into a sugar coma. I don't runt to do that ever again. Okay, so I've been going through all these holidays really fast and I've been all over the place, but I just want to take it down a notch. On this day, it might be fun to grab a snack or even correct people's grammar, but in the end, it is important to unplug and enjoy the finer things in life. But sometimes it's hard to find things to do that don't have anything to do with your phone or the computer. So what are you gonna do? I personally recommend doodling. Could this be because today is doodle day? No. It's not. Turns out that was about a month ago. When I was online researching the holidays, there was a website that told me that today was Doodle Day. And I didn't find out otherwise until I had already sent this tweet. We mustn't disappoint the masses. Andrew Spads wants me to draw a smelly orangutan with a top hat. There we go, we have a smelly orangutan, folks. Grace Terraberry wants me to draw a pancake, but like a night pancake and a dragon. Very tall order, Grace, but I will do it. But we're gonna start with just a pancake. Okay, so that's your average pancake. Looks like a puddle, but it's a pancake. Okay, but now it's a night pancake, so it's gotta have, obviously, a sword. Okay, so we got a muscle arm, handle, with a sword, and it's gotta have another arm on it, and we'll put the shield kind of like strapped to the arm. And the night pancake, it has to have armor. Let's give it spoon chainmail. I like that idea. Okay, I like the way this is going. And oh, and there's a dragon in the background, so we'll draw that. It's gotta have a long neck. It's looking more like a falcon or something. Whatever, it's a falcon. There we go. <laughs> dragon and a pancake knight. I really hope everyone can see this. I can't see my camera. A flamingo who thinks he's a hippo wearing a party hat, polka dot pants, eating a pickle like a boss. <laughs> we got a flamingo. There we go. Perfect. Work of art. Sarah Tuttle wants me to draw an awkward bunny who doesn't like carrots, but keeps giving given carrots and doesn't know what to do with them. There we go. Bunny who doesn't know what to do with his carrots. We have two requests next. We have a platypus who thinks he's a cat and a cat with a sombrero and a mustache. I give you a senior cat. 
Who's really a platypus? Now I'll let you be the judge, but I personally think I probably did a horrible job at doodling those different things. But I'd love to see your attempts. I challenge you to draw one of the challenges in today's video, or really anything that you want to draw, and then tweet them to me with the hashtag unplugged doodle. Wait a minute, I'm telling you guys to unplug and then doodle. But then I'm telling you to finish your doodle and then plug back in afterwards and then send me a tweet on the day of unplugging. That's hypocritical! It's almost as messed up as incorrect grammar! So in conclusion, I urge you to March 4th. Unplug as well as eat a snack and correct people's grammar. Stay classy and remember, every day is a holiday, so spread some cheer and let them hear about how we're hating and celebrating how all these weird funny holidays are.